Hello everybody and welcome to a new video for the channel. I'm Cross Legends and today we are going to be reacting to <clears throat> Spooky by Internet Historian with min many kudos. So yeah. I wanna react to a lot of Internet Historian's videos. Ah uh, well, not a lot. But it's the one that's the the ones that are out. <clears throat> the ones I haven't seen. Because I stopped watching them to do reactions to them, but never did the reactions. And so now I'm late. I don't think I'm uh, 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 yeah, I believe I'm too late at this point. But better late than never, I guess. Like I like I always say. But anyways. <clears throat> let's just get right into this. Uh Remember to watch the original video before you watch this one. Although, uh, at this point, I believe uh, anyone that wanted to watch the Internet Historian... Uh, Internet, anyone that watched Internet Historian probably has already watched this. Um, <coughs> sorry. I, I know I would if I wasn't uh, avoided for the reactions. But... I'll stop rambling now and just get right into the reaction. I'm interested in seeing what they find spooky. So yeah. In three, two, one, go. Spooky. Spooky. <coughs> what is uh, spooky? Uh, is this kind of spooky? How not really. Jump scare. What if nah, I built up tension? Like I was going to do another jump scare. But then I didn't. But then I did. Aha, I have jump scared you. I will wait here so that I can do my mm. ultimate spooking. Boop. Ah. And then I'll just load some of these Halloween themed bullets. All this and more on jump scare. Not working, man. I don't know if you explicitly want to talk about your phobias, because I kind of don't. I don't like moths. Moths kind of suck. Yeah, it's not that I'm afraid <laughs> oh. of moths. It's that I know what they're like. And what's going to happen is, if I try to live and let live with a moth in the room, <laughs> you're going to bump into the light bulb for a while, and then you're going <laughs> to find a way to get down the back of my shirt. I just don't want to kill moths. Being a no. personality online, last thing you want is to be like, oh, I'm, I'm terrified of beautiful women's breasts, and then you wake up next day with 500 DMs, be like, oh, look at this. <laughs> <thing."> <laughs> Which, by the way, is my phone. I don't find <laughs> butterflies to be very beautiful <laughs> either. They're just larvae with wings. Yeah, but aren't we all? <laughs> I guess you could classify ghosts as a phobia. Why are all ghosts from like the 1800s? Mm. How come you never just see some guy who died like two weeks ago wearing like a <laughs> shirt or something? Uh, I've seen modern ghosts. What, in real life? <laughs> in movies and stuff. Okay. Usually it's like just after the accident though. So, you know, sixth sense. Ah, uh, yeah. Right. There's this scene with a bike crash and it's like the moment that the mum starts to believe. Mm. And she goes, you know, how do you know that? Like with tears in his eyes. She's standing beside my window. window. But then it's just this extra with no lines. Yeah. <laughs> so it's kind of standing there with like a bloodied up head. But then it goes, what's my cue? <laughs> and it just sort of walks away in this very like nonchalant. <laughs> and it's so funny. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, right? It's not just me. Uh, like, it's, it's this really well done dramatic moment. But yeah. then the bike like, She just kind of feels a bit awkward. She's like, uh. I'll come back later. <laughs> I do think that that is a potential okay. market that has not been tapped. Airbnbs that are gimmick haunted. So, okay, so mm, some of the cabinets, yeah. the hinges are you know installed a certain way, yeah, so that definitely. they like naturally swing open more than they should. <laughs> Stuff like that. Fuck, that would be awesome. Low actuators that like open up doors late yeah, at night. Yeah, exactly. And you're like, oh fuck. And then you've got like a story to go home with. Why the hell isn't that a thing? Okay, let's say you've booked in the Airbnb and you're on your way there. Yeah. It's like this one dirt road, and so they've hired a guy, Steve. You gotta get out there. You're, you're, is this old yeah. man with a flat is you're, you're playing the role of the harbinger. In case you don't know what a harbinger is, it's, uh. here's the scene from Cabin in the Woods. I've seen plenty come and go, getting back. That's your concern. You don't stand in the old cabin mm. down the so way. That's, <laughs> that's haunted. That's a harbinger. Six score years ago, the old Brown family. 
They, they perished in a terrible fire. Let's say the hole in the ground ever since. You might be wondering why the house seems <laughs> old if caught on fire. Don't think about that too well, much. Well, it's made of asbestos, you see. It's a silent killer. In fact, would you uh, know that asbestos was actually... Stop it, stop it. Stop talking about the asbestos. Got to get back onto the... He's yeah, got a little <laughs> airpiece in. <laughs> yeah. Wow, they say that no Airbnb customers ever make it up alive. Oh, I know what you go. You go, you know, the whole house is yours. You know, feel free to enjoy it. But there is one rule. Do not open the door to the basement. Yeah, of good. course. And that stays locked until like 11 p.m. And then it just unlocks itself. If a door like that unlocked, I would slam it shut and put a door <laughs> there. You have to make a reason for him to go down there. So it, it would be like a child's voice. There's a Bluetooth down there as well. Uh, Excuse me. Hello? Oh, they see that's good. I get would you even try and sleep if you like paid money to stay at somewhere creep like that? I guess you would. Maybe. Maybe not. Drunk people are going, ah, it's fucking yeah, yeah, look. Kick. Ah, there's probably a Bluetooth speaker in there's here. There's like a, a fake child doll. And they like punch it and break it. <laughs> there's a lot of setup that's involved to like suspend mm. the display. What I was thinking uh, was the power cuts out or, or something along that. Oh, that's good. Okay. I've got it. The power goes out, but they've given you a torch beforehand. Yeah. But they're UV torches. Oh. And so when mm. you turn them on, there's like blood stains and shit all over the wall. I had a message. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. That's if great. You sold it as an experience instead of as a as an actual <laughs> accommodation. It would be brilliant. Because you get some businessman who's just like, I had the worst <laughs> night's sleep. Oh, zero stars. <laughs> yeah. Have you seen the Saw movies? I haven't, but I've watched all of your movie sucks as... But the question uh, is, how would you design a Saw trap? First of all, you have to design a Saw trap that... I think it's meant to make them appreciate life. Right, so you have to put me in the Saw trap. What's my crime? Internet historian, would you like to play a game? Yeah, why not? That sounds fun. I like games. <laughs> Very relaxed about the whole situation. Th oh, what a wonderful nap. <laughs> I was right in the middle of the day as well. I feel so refreshed. That was great, thank you. So what happens next? You wake up taped to a deck chair wow. and the little saw man comes out. For your crimes of not replying to my DMs one time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pinky finger was trapped in a vice grip. Oh no, that's my favourite of all my fingers. The handles of the vice grip are electrocuted. The only way to remove it is to unplug the electricity. But the plug is at the bottom of a tube of smartphones which are all logged into your Twitter account with tweets already typed out containing the <laughs> word. Oh, <laughs> not touch the... Oh my god. First, I'm like, I'm not going to go near that thing. That's too high a higher price to pay, man. But then I would put my pants over my hands and now I'm digging no. through the phones and I'm not setting them off. What are you doing? I have passed the trap. <laughs> what are you doing? Stop. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Don't want to do it like that. It would be great if he'd just not thought of like one really obvious thing. <laughs> right, you suddenly wake up in a lazy boy chair. Oh, this is, this is pretty good. You are duct taped to the lazy boy chair. This is still fine. And suddenly, the television turns on. Uh, hello, mini cuties. He hello. <laughs> You've never appreciated having legs. Dear God. So, as punishment, you're gonna have to, um... I don't want to be a critic, but, uh, I mean, usually when I'm kidnapped, people have it more planned out than us. <laughs> no, shut up. Shut up. <laughs> so, as you can tell, the cuffs of your pants have small hooks in them, oh. and they are connected to these chains on the wall. This television is going to turn into only sex scenes from popular movies. <laughs> After three minutes, your pants will be all the way down, and you will still be stuck to this chair. And at that point, a little bell will go off, and your mom will be summoned no! into the room, and she <laughs> will catch you. <laughs> if you want to stop this from happening, you're going to have to... Cut off your own legs. <laughs> <laughs> With what? Here, I got you this implement. We'll just let the editor decide what the implement is. Yeah. Here's what Derek Sawman didn't foresee, though. Right. I saw The Wolf of Wall Street with my ex-girlfriend's parents in the theatre, so Aww. nothing will ever oh. beat that. Well, you could have turned to your girlfriend and gone, oh, we've done that one. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking look her dad in the eyes. <laughs> 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 There's like a... 
<laughs> you never appreciated your foreskin when you had it. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen that video of the pigeons getting sucked into the grain silo? Oh, yeah. It happens to people, too. Yeah. Well, the, I'm sure no. the people aren't eating the grain, though. That's kind of like the no. pigeon version of sore. No. No. Oh. Just, kind of, no. oh. <laughs> well, here's an infinite no. supply of corn. Don't get sucked. <laughs> Why? <laughs> One of them goes in head first. He can see it coming. He's like, this is my fate. Right, I am not afraid. My ancestors will look down upon me. <laughs> Email, Netflix, Facebook, oh, Amazon, Twitter, YouTube, fans. Twitch. Too many accounts, too many. Oh, well, now there is. It's me, Nordpass Woman. Oh, but shut up, ugly. It's time Lol. to use Nordpass. Store all of your accounts and passwords in one delicious place using just one master password. Wow, that sounds. <laughs> oh my god, I cannot believe that. It's funny how he's saying this. Password one two three. <laughs> the the, the not log or like that. Now let's fix those passwords. Improve your security with big sophisticated passwords, all randomly generalized. Uh, Here, let me install it now on your phone. No, no, thank you. Who really? Can you believe what a total B she is? Help, I am afraid of technology. Something something password. Shut up, you handsome man. Did someone say a better way? No mm. need to enter login info ever again. Use NordPass across all devices. Throw away this post-it note. <laughs> and give me your phone number. We should go out sometime. With Lol. NordPass. I'm not really sure how this ad should end. Shut up and go to nah, nordpass.com that, slash that, that's to get 70% off to your plan plus additional free month plus 30 day well, guarantee. Ad over. <clears throat> Alright. I wanted to talk about those YouTube channels that call people at 3am. Oh, that's a good one. Because I hate those with a passion. Guys, if I spin this fidget spinner, oh, I look at that. Swing. For 5 seconds, you guys have to smash the like button. 5, 6, Seven, Whoa. eight, nine. That's pretty badass. Boom! I guys have to smash the like button. Fuck! All right, fine. <laughs> so today's video, we are gonna be oh, time no. What? What did he say? You tell me what he just said. You tell me right now. <laughs> What did she actually say? We are going to be calling Thanos at 3 a.m. Okay, we're going to be calling Thanos and his go love. <laughs> now, hold on, we got to get in the mood. Editor, we got to put in some of the spooky music. Here we go. Oh, then he has a dance montage. No. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, no. How did he get Thanos' number? Uh. Make sure to subscribe and turn on the little bell. I want to be on the notice of case it's cool. <laughs> Come on, please. Please, on. Thanos. Gonna please. Come on. Hello? Hello. Hello. <laughs> what else could I have expected? But, like, uh, I just, uh, somehow I'm still disappointed. <laughs> yeah. Who is this? Uh, wait, who are you? <laughs> you called me. Should I comment this? <laughs> yeah, I think that's. Disclaimer. This is just a skit. Oh, what? What the fuck? Lol. Yo, Thanos. No! Ah. What the? Ah. Ah. What the? Ah. I did not see ah. that coming. This is one of my favorite videos. Look to the left of him underneath that car poster. That looks suspiciously like lights coming through blinds. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> yeah, you're right. 100%. The comments turn off, the like to display ratios turn off. Okay, here's the thing. This must be semi-ironic, but the thing that's throwing me off is the threatening, we need to talk kind of face. <laughs> yeah. I have just called the yeah. Sus Foster in Among Us, and I have terrible news about your balcony. It's Craig gang. It's your last crane. The building man coming at you with another leave videos. What the hell did he And Craig, Craig gang. It's your last crane. The building man. So he's saying, what's up, YouTube? And, uh, and what's Craig, 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 Craig? So his channel is Eli So Craig. Yeah, you know, so, I, I got so that saying, one, but then issue with us train the building man and come at you with another leave videos always
Wait. No, no, wait. No, the dabbing. This guy is so self-aware. He knows. No, no, <laughs> I no, he is not. I guarantee you he's not. Guys, make sure you go check out that video after this video. FaceTime and pop so Eli so great. It was absolutely I can, insane. I can, like, I can hear the things you're saying without staring at me <laughs> in enormous intensity. You need to start your videos with, like, a snappy kind of... <laughs> 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 Is this a marvelous? I'm guess. This guy is so self-aware. This guy is brilliant. He's not. This is satire, and it is genius. Let me ask you a question. How much treasure is on that boat? How much money worth of treasure? Again, no mention of treasure at any point in Among Us. Does he think they are scuba divers? Or like pirates? Something that involves money on the high seas? $100 million. $100 million? <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, this is so entertaining that like I actually don't even want to commentate over it. <laughs> no, I agree. I am absolutely enthralled by it. I genuinely love this video. Banger of the video, today we are calling the <laughs> internet historian who recently passed away. <laughs> Turn my anyway, <laughs> well so first of all, before we get started, guys, make sure to follow my Instagram. You forgot the fidget spinner. I, if I can spin this fidget spinner on this loaded gun in my mouth, <laughs> no! three seconds, then you have no! to hit the subscribe button. Let me, first of all, let me just, I, I found this number on the dark web. I just think it was DM. <laughs> Oh my god, you guys, he DM'd me his number, so I'm just gonna call this now. Bring, 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 bring. Hello? <gasps> You've reached internet historian's voicemail. I'm not able Oh my god, you guys, did you hear that? The internet historian <laughs> just <laughs> from beyond the grave. No. <laughs> then your phone starts buzzing. Again. <laughs> yeah. Hey, sorry, no, I missed your call. What's up? Oh, is this the real internet historian? Are you. Why are you talking like that? <laughs> yeah. It's me. What's up? When are you going to upload a new main channel video? It's been like six months. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> 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 Did you do Halloween? Uh, growing up in rural New Zealand, not really, but kind of. So we would dress up and, you know, do the whole, like, go around the houses. But it was probably, like, one in ten houses actually did it. Yeah. Nothing like American uh, Halloween. People didn't really try. We went to two of them and they were like, mm. no, fuck off. And we're like, all right. I think one woman gave us 50 cents. It wasn't very good. <laughs> my experience is that Halloween... I think was my favorite holiday of anything. Really? Way better than Christmas or my birthday because you get to dress up, which is <laughs> fun in the first place. I'm going to go as uh, an Arabian night and put on blackface. And I'm I'll... going as Justin Trudeau. No. So Halloween is great because you have absolutely no idea what's going to happen. And it's one of the first yeah. times where you get to go out on your own. Yeah. You can do slightly criminal things and get away with it. It's brilliant. One time, I think I was a ninja. Yeah. Oh, you know, Fortnite Ninja Blevins. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a couple of mates, we're walking around, and every second house is not doing Halloween. Yeah. But they would see you dressed up, and it's like, hold on, kids, just let me, um, <laughs> let me see what's pantry. in the pantry. <laughs> they would come out with, like, a whole packet of Tim Tams. Oh, hell yeah. Like, That's a whole. It's, like, fantastic. And then once in a while, they would be like, oh, you know what? I'm not doing candy. You can have something healthy, and you get vegetables oh, and yeah, stuff. Oh, yeah, I got an apple one. Oh, that's, that, that, that's good. Bro, I got a full cabbage. <laughs> <laughs> it was three and a half ah. kilos. It was enormous. We were like, oh, this is our new fucking treasure for the evening. And we were walking along the streets. Some teenagers in a car see us uh. with this big cabbage. And they're like, roll it, roll it. No! Just to roll it onto the street. No! And they're in their car, right? No! So just like go forward and back. No! <laughs> run over the cabbage. And we were just having no! the fucking so time. Cool. What? It's just the best man and then you get home and then there's, oh, there's a whole bunch of candy i love the idea of you having to like diablo style inventory manage your bag with a cabbage halloween i was dressed as super mario you're going as chris pratt yeah i was a chris <laughs> pratt <laughs> mm. So I was like 16, 17. We were drinking grape juice because I was underage. And we were like, let's go to uh, McDonald's as all good stories end on a night of debauchery. Right. So it was probably mm. like a 15 minute walk, not too far away. Mm. Side note, the entire way, one of my friends was like, put his arms around me. He's like, James, bro, I fucking love you, man. Just so you know, I've always got your fucking back if anything fucking happens. So we pulled up <laughs> to an intersection and a car pulled up. 
and this dude who had been trying to finger me a second ago was like hey good day boys you having a good night mm. guy gets out of the passenger side this dude's like in his late 20s eyes us all up sees i'm the smallest yeah right <laughs> all i remember is being up and then i remember mm. being sideways holy shit and what? Uh, he had cracked me in my jaw holy fuck he could have turned you into a ghost you hear about people who just ding their head off the concrete and they're done yeah so i mean maybe i am dead <laughs> Healing Joel Osman's there. No. You look outside the window and I just walk away kind no. of nonchalantly. So I no. get smacked. I'm on the ground. Yeah. I didn't pass out. I just huh. got a walloping. God and he got back in his car and no. they peeled off up the street. Yeah. Conveniently, a police cruiser pulls up. So they didn't see any of that happen. But all my friends are like, go get that fucking car. They just punched my friend. Cops peel off up the road. After Whoa. Them, you know, pull them over. And then they come nice. back to us and they're like, yeah, they say that uh, they didn't do anything. <laughs> no. <laughs> see me on the ground sake. like bleeding <laughs> well, i obviously did something <laughs> yeah you know, taking the guy to court you took him to court what? I did. Uh, oh. he, he pled not guilty so what did you say i i hereby declare your honor <laughs> this guy did a mischief to my face take a look at my mug <laughs> one woman screams and she's like he's disgusting <laughs> That's my normal face oh, his speech impediment ever since <laughs> no. right, so what happened <laughs> did he go to jail he pled not guilty and i gave my statement he said that my attorney was offensive to him. <laughs> 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 Keep in mind, dressed as Mario from the video game Mario. Yeah. Did you get punched by fucking Waluigi? <laughs> <laughs> Another thing about it, it wasn't a car, it was a cart they were in and they <laughs> jumped into like a big rainbow road in the sky. So what happened? Did he get a job? So he pled not guilty and then I think he was from up north so he went back to like whatever town he was from and, and was being trialled in their court and while he was awaiting his court date he assaulted someone else. Uh, so uh, not only on mild oh, random, man. I suppose. Yeah, well I started a YouTube channel so... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we should do like a really dumb creepy pasta. Or like a video game we both know. Oh, that would be quite good. Okay, guys, you'll never believe this story, but it's a hundred percent true. <laughs> when I was 14 years old, I really wanted to play the new game, Fallout 4, but my parents wouldn't buy it for me. So one day I went to a garage sale. <laughs> Lo and behold, there was a copy of Fallout 4, but the disc was just an ordinary disc, and someone had just written F-O-4 on it in a marker pen. It must have been a pirated copy. I wish I had known what I know now. That is not or any ordinary copy of Fallout 4. When I installed the game, it came with a warning that said, may cause death i thought it was the developers trying to be funny holy shit this is every game creepy pasta this, this, is, this, this is very mm -hmm. accurate <laughs> when i booted yeah up the i game, i i, I, I never watched that properly, that many kind of be creepy pasta screen but, but i, I do know with the that system files and i managed to get it sounds it working. pretty accurate my pc acting up because my mom wouldn't <laughs> let me buy a new graphics card <laughs> The first thing I noticed was that there was already a save file on the game. I thought that was strange. I opened it up and it took me to the character creation menu. Except the man standing in front of the mirror looked like me. Dead. Oh, okay. <laughs> Can I tell you something? <laughs> what? My wall just creaked and I got a fright because you were putting me on edge. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> My After I picked up my baby, the screen went black and, and I figured once again maybe my old PC had bugged out. But all of a sudden, it skipped to what seemed like a few hours in the game. I was back in the wasteland and I was talking to... <laughs> What's his name? Gar Preston Garby. Pre I was talking to Preston Garby. The only option it gave me was strangle. So I pressed the button and what happened next was an extremely graphic cutscene of my character cutting the circulation to Preston Garby. He uh, screamed in pain, and it wasn't like any of the usual voice acting. <laughs> this sounded real. I Damn. swear when I looked into his eyes, it was like the textures suddenly got hyper-realistic, and I thought <laughs> I saw a reflection <laughs> of a person in it. I thought I saw myself. <laughs> Not only that, but the familiar <laughs> Fallout UI went from being nuclear green to blood red <laughs> <laughs> and then it goes i've been playing this game for a long time now and i've started to notice some things i feel like there's shadows 
in the corner of my room in real life. <laughs> I played for another 20 hours, literally exploring every crack and crevice, until finally I found the first NPC I'd seen in a literal day. <laughs> It was my dead wife, and she was still frozen, like she was in the cryo chamber. I started doing some research on the dark web. I found a post that said that actually, during the production of Fallout 4, one of the beta testers was forced to play the game for 20 hours straight to see if there was any bugs with the game being played for 20 hours straight. And the man died of dehydration. And then Todd Howard buried the body. <laughs> And he didn't want anyone to know. Something is not right. I feel like there's creatures all around me, like in the game. I can see map markers in the distance. Here's no. the worst part. I decided to webcam my friend, but when I opened the call, he said, Why are you hanging out with Preston Garby? And I said, What? I'm all alone. <laughs> I've got another twist. You got a oh, one? An, an alternate yeah. one. To my shock, when the webcam turned oh. on, it wasn't my friend as I expected. It was the Todd Howard staring back at me. <laughs> <laughs> but his eyes were different. They were more evil. His eyes were black and as though he'd been crying blood. <laughs> he opened his mouth and the only static came out. I was terrified of what would happen. He threw the static though. I could hear something. He said, if you die in the game, <laughs> nah. you die in real life. It's not funny. <laughs> Finish the game. <laughs> That's it, yeah. I hope this isn't my last entry. <laughs> Things are getting really bad now. I went back to that neighbor's garage sale and it turns out they've never even lived there if i can end on one thing it's to say this if you find a pirated game at a garage sale don't play that's a great one okay <laughs> <laughs> okay What happened? Oh, that's the end. Okay then. At a garage sale. <clears throat> oh, okay. Yeah, I think. I think that we're gonna leave it. I remember I used to be so scared of creepy pastas that I couldn't sleep for a while. But there, there was a time that I uh, it was really hard to sleep. Uh, whenever I try closing my eyes, I will see stuff. Like, for example, I remember I saw a creepy pasta of the of the. The Smurfs? And it really affected me. Um, but yeah. It's just a really scary looking, I guess. Uh, in, uh, dr drawings of the characters appeared in my head. And I tried sleeping. But yeah. <clears throat> Nowadays, I don't really have. I mean, I don't even notice when I fall asleep. But I also don't remember my dreams. I used to be able to. M maybe not all of them. But I used to remember them easier than nowadays. But nowadays, I, my memory is also not as good as how it used to be. <clears throat> At least, the short term memory is not as good as it used to be. But I don't think it, it it has ever been good. But anyway, that's where we're going to leave it. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe or give a like. Yeah, that would also help. Um, Take care. And as always, oh, oh sorry, remember to watch the original video. It's going to be in the description. And as always, <clears throat> adios.